Stakeholders have stressed that cancer disease is projected to increase by 85% in the next 15 years. They noted that the depreciating state of health facilities, limited access to quality care and high cost of cancer therapy, limited access to funds and treatment and limited training for health care workers are the reason Nigerian is still having poor cancer outcomes. This was disclosed on Tuesday at the National Cancer Management Training 2021 in Abuja. Maliki Dewey compiles the story as read from our studios. At the National Cancer Management Training 2021, the Executive Director of Project Pink, Runchi Chidebe, said Nigeria has recorded over 78,000 cancer deaths, adding that this is as a result of poor health sector in Nigeria. See, worldwide, with about 19.3 million new cases and 10 million cancer deaths in 2020. The World Health Organization posits that in 2020 alone, Nigeria contributed to global burden with 124,000 new cases and about 78,000 cancer deaths. You know, poor cancer outcomes in Nigeria. This is why we came up with various interventions to help reduce the high incidence of cancer and tackle late detection and improve um, you know, general outlook of cancer in Nigeria. Also speaking, Gloria Oku, the program coordinator of Project Pink and pharmacist Ramatu Masood noted that Nigeria is one of the countries with the highest incidence of cancer and deaths per year. First, prostate, leukemia and childhood cancers. This program also seeks to support the National Cancer Control Plan, NCCP, or the Federal Ministry of Health, funded in 2018. And Syria, as one of the countries with the highest incidences of cancer and deaths per year, must place a lot of emphasis on institutionalizing the roles of these professionals and completely embedding them in the system to play their part in the cancer care development and worrisome. As the WHO stipulates that the number of cancer patients will double in the next two decades with a commensurate number of healthcare professionals need to care for them. We applaud the federal government of Nigeria for the recently launched national policy on chemotherapy safety policy, which seeks to improve the safe handling and administration of chemotherapy. While lending his voice, Professor Donald Harvey of Emory University School of Medicine said the government needs to assist the medical sector to tackle cancer diseases in Nigeria. Part for the care of cancer patients and that delivery of care, it takes investment, it takes infrastructure. Uh, in the U.S., certainly the U.S. government has been critical for that to happen. Uh, and I believe that same uh, inspiration and desire here in Nigeria is present. Uh, having those resources for equipment and safe delivery of, of therapies, uh, specifically within my space, uh, cytotoxic chemotherapy and the ability to make that therapy in a controlled biological safety cabinet where those who are making that chemotherapy are not exposed to the drugs and that nurses and patients and everyone else uh, who might see those drugs afterwards are also fully protected from what side effects might happen from exposure to that. It is hoped that the training of the health workers will help in the fight towards cancer reduction in Nigeria.